GOP frontrunner Mitt Romney says he's prepared to fight all the way to the convention, and he just may have to. Neither Rick Santorum nor Newt Gingrich have indicated they are considering dropping their bid for the White House, despite lagging far behind in delegates. Romney won six of the ten states in play on Tuesday, including pivotal Ohio. Santorum picked up three, with Gingrich securing his home state of Georgia only. Romney's wins give him a more than two-to-one advantage over Santorum in the GOP delegate count, with Newt Gingrich and Ron Paul trailing even further behind. Well, for the only Texan in the presidential hunt, Super Tuesday was a tough day with nothing to show in the win column. Well, too bad for Ron Paul they don't award delegates on the sheer devotion of followers. Fox 26's Greg Rugen is in the newsroom with a local example of that loyalty. Greg. Well, Melinda, what I'm about to show demands a new definition for the term sticker shock. Call it unconventional support for an unconventional candidate. Four years ago, about the time Ron Paul's liberty-laced rhetoric began catching the nation's ears and eyes, this custom-clad vehicle began catching ours. I'm getting, well, flipped off a lot less and more thumbs up, so... (laughs) That's Clay Kitchens, the previously apolitical owner of the Ron Paul car. Back in 07, Clay figured if he peeled enough stickers and slapped him on wheels, he might just pull a few more followers into the Ron Paul fold. I feel like if I can uh, catch like one or two people, maybe they can catch one or two and then it just snowballs. I mean, that's what's happening right now. And while Dr. Paul's presidential prospects gradually plummeted, the loyalty of his devoted legions clearly did not. A revolution never comes with a warning. A revolution never sends you an omen. Exhibit A, the Ron Paul ride 2.0. New rig, same message. We call it a revolution with love in the middle. Like many of Ron Paul's supporters, Clay Kitchen's commitment has only grown. Whether you agree with him or not, You know he's not lying to you. (laughs) Slapping 600 or so stickers on his Mazda seemed a small enough measure of respect for the message and the messenger. Then it's like all or nothing, you know, there's no in between, there's no lukewarm with Ron Paul. Of course, with the candidate creeping towards 80, many wonder whether 2.0 is the last of its kind. Clay Kitchens. But there may be a Rand Paul car (laughs) someday. And yes, the stickers do come off. Clay uses slightly heated WD-40 to get the job done.